Hello everyone, welcome to Suzy Saves. I'm Suzy. Now, for some of you, this little pouch here might be a sight for sore eyes. Uh, before I had my wallet binder, this is what I used for holding all my cash. Now it is doing its proper purpose and being a coin pouch, and we have got quite a few coins. Um, I have been rounding everything up and saving all of my coins throughout uh, January, and I want to know how many coins do we have in here? So, pardon me, it might be a little loud. But let's count. I thought it'd be nice to count our coins. Okay, so, looks like we got more pennies than anything, which I don't think is all that um, surprising. Sorry if this is really loud. I'm just gonna separate them into stacks. Now, the bank that I use actually started um, charging like a 10% fee on counting coins, um, which I think is ridiculous. Um, so, if you have a bank that has started to do that, I would highly recommend counting your own coins. Uh, the dollar store has some of these rolls um, that you can buy and then put your coins in. So count out 50 cents of pennies, which is 50 pennies, stuff them in here, fold it on up and give them to your bank that way. Um, I don't know why they've started doing that. It sounds just like ridiculous because if they don't count them by hand, like they go in a machine and then they charge you 10% for that, which sounds ridiculous, so. I said, no, thank you. <laughs> I will take the to time to count my coins myself. Um, I'm not bringing any of my coins to the bank until the end of the year. I just was interested in to see how many is in here. So I'm gonna count all these out and then put them away in a coin jar. And then we will recount them at the end of the year and uh, take them to the bank and roll them up. <laughs> so, well, I meant to, there we go. A lot of pennies, which doesn't surprise me. There we go. All right. Maybe if we have any, like this is probably 50 pennies. So maybe I'll roll them up. Should I roll them up? I'll go get a roller. Sorry for all the noise with me shuffling about. So this is what they look like. They're just little tubes that you put coins in. <laughs> I think we'll have 50 pennies here, so. Okay, let us begin. Uh, it's much easier if you just line them up in a row. Can you all see that? We're a little bit over, aren't we? There we go. Y'all. Yeah, okay, we have a whole bunch of space. Okay, let us begin. So this is 10 pennies. <laughs> so we just have to make sure it's five high. Ooh, maybe we don't have enough. We might be shy just barely. All right, we do not have 50 pennies. Ah, uh, too bad. <laughs> okay, 30, 33, 35. 36, no, 35, 37, 39 pennies. What can you do? So that's 39 cents. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. I should write this down before I totally lose myself in the math here. <laughs> So we got 35, 39 cents, and then I already forgot, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40 cents. Okay, for our dimes here, you got 2, 4, 5, 10, 13, so a dollar and 30. And then for our quarters, one dollar, two twenty-five. Not bad. That means altogether here we've got 
oopsies, 39, 40, 130, 225, $4.34, which I know is not a lot, <laughs> but I mean, if we continue this way, we'll have like 50 bucks by the end of the year in just our leftover change. So that's very exciting. <laughs> I'll keep you updated um, as months come. Ooh, let me show you my, this is so odd. <laughs> so this is where I keep my coins. It's one of the old um, Tootsie Roll containers you used to get for Christmas. I don't know if you guys ever got them, but basically they're filled with mini Tootsie Rolls, but it is empty now. This is where I keep all of my coins in my little Tootsie Roll coin bank. <laughs> So this will be loud as well. So I'll put them in here after the video. Um, but there are a few coins in here from last year. I'm just going to roll it over. I wasn't saving money last year, so it's really not a lot. <laughs> um, but just as a little disclaimer, at the end of the year, yes, we will have a bit of money, maybe a dollar from last year. But thank you all for coming to see this video. Um, I know $4 isn't a lot, like I said, but it could be like 50 bucks by the end of the year. So we shall see. <laughs> uh, if you're interested in me continuing to do this throughout the other months, let me know. Um, hopefully I can maybe, sometimes I still spend coins, um, especially if I'm over budget on something, I'll just use coins to cover the difference. Um, but I'm really going to try to n first not be over budget on the things and second uh, always try to round up um, and really budget what I need to so I can keep all my coins and we can count them at the end of the year. Thank you everyone so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it's a little different than what we normally do but if we count money why can't we count coins? Um, uh, my dad has a lot of coins as well that he's been thinking about taking to the bank, so we might have an extra special day and count all his coins. Um, I hope you have a fantastic day. Uh, maybe you should count your coins at home if you've got a large stash of them. Um, I think it's, I don't know if therapeutic is the right word, but it can be a nice way to visualize saving money in like a bigger way. So thank you all so much for being here today. I hope you're looking forward to the next video and I will see you there. Have a good night.